you're watching Post 24. Detective Jane Mugo was recently on social media to react to the announcement that Governor Alfred Mucci and Lillian Gango are no longer an item. In a long post, Mugo narrated how Mucci was cheating on his first wife Josephine Thetu with a 28-year-old Nganga and she managed to expose the affair. Thetu's relationship with Mucci became irreparable in 2015 when it ended in court tussle over the custody of their three children and their home in Westlands along Greville Road. Mugo said her company was approached by Thetu to follow Mucci to see who he was cheating with. They say marriage is not a bed of roses. The size of bed or the location of the bed does not matter. What matters is those using the bed things being discussed in the bedroom, or strength of the bed. Only bedmates can sort the mess, said Mugo on social media. Due to public demand and request by one of them, let me comment on this ongoing debate. In summary when my company discovered that their governor Mutua, that time he was a government spokesman had affair with Lillian, they were staying in Langatu and Kyle Leshwa. Lillian Ganga she went on. I remember he initially denied later confessed, accepted to the wife reasons he was dating her, because she supports his political ambitious and she was his confidant. He was already campaigning to be Macaco's governor. I remember going to save Josephine, his first wife, from Westland home where she had been locked with her children and her house manager. She wanted to leave the country to Australia where their children are citizens. Thank God she later left same day. She cried at the airport and told me Detective Jane Muga ya, and Union Ehaper. She was crying for her children. Mugo went on to say that the mistake Mucha did when he started cheating with Lillian is that he stopped respecting his wife of 22 years. I felt bad but am one person who doesn't attack or judge people harshly being a private detective have dealt with many married couples, dating couples, lovers, divorced, young and old I have seen a lot last 22 years. In summary men when you get a side chick or second wife respect your first wives and second wives respect goat wives. Mugo went on, second wives demand equal rights to be introduced respected you privately pay major roles some goat wives cannot. I have seen men feed first wife using money given or invested by second wives and vice versa. Surely when you are dating secretly you don't speak, why do you speak when things turn hell? Let us treat each other as we want to be treated. I bless all marriages, spouses, not forgetting single women widows, widower and orphans, prayers work, and b, it's better to know if you are many now, rather after death, you accept or deny, but 75% of men we trailed before have second wives or side chicks, it's not a crime but introduce them to share duties, men be in charge, thank you for watching post 24, please subscribe, like, comment and share,